<clears throat> well, thank you so much to Representative Angie Craig, who also happens to be not only my colleague, but my classmate in the wonderful class of 2018, and my wonderful colleague and friend, Representative Dan Kildee, and of course, uh, Representative Clyburn, Jim Clyburn is our whip. I'm really grateful to be standing with all of these champions of health care uh, for Congress. Good morning, everyone, and thank you all so very much for being here with us today. There is no time off when you live with diabetes. It's a constant, ever-present disease that influences every aspect of your life. Those born with diabetes live their entire lives checking their blood sugar every other hour. And they must constantly be wary of what they eat, what they drink, and what they must monitor to survive. Parents of diabetics often spend their days concerned about their children's health or worried that their kindergarten, kindergartner who's off to school and must, for the very first time ever, ensure that they are checking themselves and their levels all on their own. Almost 40 million Americans live with diabetes. Over 1 million of those Americans are in my district, in my state of Georgia, alone. Many of those who live with this chronic disease must take insulin every single day of their lives just to survive. And even still, it remains the seventh leading cause of death in our country. In 1920, before insulin was discovered, it would have been exceptional for a diabetic person to live longer than really a year or two. But for over 100 years, this, the discovery of insulin has saved lives and has remained the most effective treatment for all those that are living with this chronic disease. So why then, after 100 years, is this life-saving medication farther and farther out of reach for those families who need it? Why is it that a child born with this disease must spend around $6,000 a year for life on a drug that has been around for over a century? Why is it that a quarter of diabetics are forced to skip or ration their life-saving medication? Why is it that in the richest country in the history of the world, parents must still stand at the pharmacy counter, devastated by the prices that they see on the screen, knowing that the cost of keeping their child alive may cost a month's worth of hot meals at the kitchen table? That is why this bill is so critically important and why its passage today is so vitally necessary. This legislation will lower the costs of drugs and save lives for those millions of individuals in this country that are diabetic. By capping out-of-pocket costs for insulin at just $35 a month, we can keep a life-saving drug, a drug that existed for over a hundred years, affordable to all the families in America that need it. President Biden made it pretty clear during the State of the Union address that we must do what is needed to lower drug costs for American families. And I am so proud to have worked with my colleagues here today, my champions for health care to pass the Affordable Insulin Now Act out of the House today and look forward to continuing our efforts with Senator Warnock in Georgia as he leads the fight in the Senate to pass the critical legislation that is so sorely needed and so long overdue. Thank you.